Okay, we're on what I think is going to be the last part of the playthrough of Core Ghost Towns because I have the final key and now I just have to unlock the, um, well, I got three exits. So I'm, I'm going to do for this last part is I'm going to unlock all three exits. Obviously, I can't do that all in a single game. So this might be kind of a weird broken thing that you're just going to have to see through. All right, so anyway, here we go. Uh, we're going to open up the one inside my house first. That's what I'm most curious about. Okay. All right, door is tightly locked. I want the final key. Key and lock crumble together, and you walk through the door. All right, so we're in a totally different place here. All right, so we have... Um, guy and girl in love under a tree. We've got the guy at the bar with a weird looking monkey thing. Monkey thing goes to the sewers. Um, there's a strange mask man with a coyote. Is that what we've discovered that thing is? Oh, what do you do? Oh, hey there, buddy. You've come to the end of a long road. All makes sense now, doesn't it? Um, not really. Life's been hard, but you still, you're still a good person no matter what you've done. You even stopped to save me when I was stuck on my back. We can all do good. I'll miss you, but it's time to go home, make things right. Wake up! Wait, what? Um, is that it? Hello? Oh, you're awake. It's been a while since you've shown any kind of real response. Huh? Like this miracle, we thought you'd been vegetable for life. If you even survived at all. The guy butchered you. You lost a ton of blood, and we found you locked up in a shack behind his house. Sorry, sorry. You don't want to relive it, I know. I just want you to know you're safe now. The guy threw himself off a cliff, or maybe the wife pushed him. We're not sure yet. He chose a hell of a family to get involved with. I've seen some jilted husbands before but me and this guy uh, I wouldn't blame you if I just picked up and left this place for good once you're able to walk again it's going to be hard to deal with all the old ghosts you've got sorry again I'll let you get some rest of your praying man I'd be seeing some praise right about now take it easy buddy huh um Alright. Alright, so let's check out the next ending. Was there not more? Hold up. I'm sorry, I know this is going to be lame to have to see this again, but... Is there anything past Don Matello? want to see if there's anything there. Okay, um, so let's go to where was the, oh, the exit down here. Down by the river. Alright, let's see what this does. Okay, so they prisoners? I don't know. Um, too many bills. Is that a different guy? No. Alright, I saw that ending. There's my friend Dominatello. So I wonder what happens if I <laughs> didn't help Dominatello way back in the beginning. I wonder who would be.
be standing here now. Uh, I guess, so, the ending, I guess, changes if you kill the turtle. Because um, then you would look like a bad dude. And I don't know if how eager I am to test that theory just yet. But maybe uh, one day I might go back and kind of see how it all goes. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting I have to manually cycle through here. Okay. Um, losing your job and then what he did and what else he might have done. He's been in a coma since the fall. If you for a very long time. Think of it as a second chance. But he is in rough shape, but we think he'll pull through. This will ever be the same between the two of you. Going to be hard for him to trust anyone after what was done to him. You know what? Don't even worry about it. Just worry about yourself. You don't either of them. Let's do a short drawing ghost. Huh. I, you know, I'm kind of struggling to see how this um, relates to the old Star Law games. Um, so I thought that was part of the ending here. Or the, um, I thought it was just a tie in, but I guess maybe it's just a, on the forums, it's described as a graveyard of old games. So maybe it's just a point is to bring all the, oh, hello. This point is to bring all the characters in. Um, Oh, I see. Okay. Wait a second. So does this just take me to nine four? Oh, it's just a warp. Okay. That's pretty convenient. I guess I was expecting a literal um, room here. Okay, so he's got his belongings. Is he in his office, I'm thinking? For dinner. So they're going over their bills. Oh, there's uh, so it's two different guys. I got it. And then we have the cliff ending again. With you, she betrayed me. They dumped me. Didn't be funny. Yeah, your choice, and you paid the price. I don't know what you're going to do. Now that you're awake, all that really matters is the truth. I'm the. No matter what happens from here, you've got a second chance, fresh start, so let's get all better, and then we can have a real talk. Go and stay at home next time. Okay. All right, um, that was the other, the third ending. So, all right, well, I tested all the endings, and um, so it's not as complicated to get each ending as I thought. Like I said, I think um, if I had shot the turtle, I would have a much different series of events. Um, Ritter Designer? Um, okay, that was clearly a typo. Um, okay, so let me... Um, just kind of briefly, this is obviously the last part, so I'm going to go and um, kind of, uh, I don't know, I just reflect a little bit. I mean, I, it's a cool game. I really like the whole presentation. Um, by the way, I hope my recordings worked as I just realized my microphone was up a little tiny bit. Hope that's not going to affect the recording because um, <laughs> I completely screwed up uh, Void Crypt second part because I had the microphone in the up position the entire uh, second ha or second part of it. So I really hope I didn't have anything like that this time. Um, that's neither here or there. Uh, yeah. So I, like I said, just I mean I like the way it's all set up. The puzzles um, they work. I mean I, I I like how some things are discovered the deeper you go. Um, I, again, I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing how if the main character is in any way related 
to the old games. Um, so I remember there was a character named Lonnie, I think, from Starlight Armageddon, who kind of looks like the character in this game. Not the made-up character, but the, um, the one in the flashbacks. But again, this has been so long. Um, I'm also wondering, too, if it really is supposed to be just a completely unique storyline that just happens to um, end with the, the character somehow finding his way into this town of... Um, of uh, Walther's characters. Um, I guess it does kind of sadden me a little bit that if that's the ending to Sterla Armageddon, it does make me wonder what the original ending was going to be. Um, and I'm also wondering, too, like what the areas were that were supposed to be in the original game. Um, I think based on what I remember the ending of the last game, I'm thinking maybe the horse guy that I kept going back and revisiting is somehow related um but it's so hard to figure out how it's all tied in because it's just the fact that all the games are tied in somehow which i, I mean i've always thought that was clever to kind of like your own little mcu there um but uh at the same time too i think if you miss too many games in the series you the context is easily lost and um some of the characters I didn't quite recognize, and then I know some of the characters just in the, the walk around, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to uh, get any significance out of them or if it was just clearly um, sort of that sad tribute to the fact that um, <laughs> their games are unfinished, which I'm thinking is sort of the point. Um, but I don't know. I just, I mean, I like the game, I think it's cool. Um, makes me wonder where to go from here um a little sad that the mr german guy uh mr sarla mr horse mr oh gosh i i wish i could remember what he was called i know um i know i used his voice in um in um entrepreneur so i should remember it um but yeah my memory it's not what it used to be Although I remember the name Lonnie for some reason. Just the things you remember. So anyway, I don't need to keep rambling. Um, I just, uh, that's my critique. It's, it's just everything I think works. Uh, as far as things I didn't like, um, I did picky stuff. I mean, there's some sound effects I thought could have been present that weren't. Um, only for completion's sake. And then a couple typos here and there. Um, yeah, I mean, but I, I mean, I don't know. I like the characters are just weird. I, I think I really liked your um, the one with the, the set tag. <laughs> it's just it was so random. And I wish I knew what the reference was to that. Um, I, I and for all I know, maybe there is no reference. Maybe that's just you know his time for uh, to show up is in this game. Um, but I, I hope that's. Uh, I hope there's more up your sleeve. I hope there's more. More uh, Star Lost stuff coming around the corner because I, I would, I just I, don't know, I, I like where these things go, um, and I think the fact that they're short games I think make them more accessible. Uh, but you also reminded me too of all the games I wished had been released, like Constituurian. Um, saw there was a lot of um, hype on that a while back, and then nothing really went with it. So, um, well, I guess I'm kind of disappointed there was nothing there. Um, anyway, I, I don't know what else to say. It was just a good job. Um, now you see how I played it and if I missed anything. Um, I tend to choose the good guy route. Um, I got a friend of mine who likes to choose the bad guy route and things. So, um, so I know some people do like to play the villain. Uh, I ch usually choose not to. So that's kind of the reason why I chose a lot of the things I chose. If you're wondering, um, it did get my curiosity, you know, how things would change if I'd had chose different things like, you know, with the turtle or um, if I had a, uh, well, I think if I just denied the grape guy, the robot, I just wouldn't have gotten tokens. So I think I had to choose that in order to beat the game. Um, I did, also, I wonder too, like how many choices could I have not made and still beat the game? Or, you know, does everything so scripted that um, I eventually had to get everything? I, I don't know. 
that's one thing about puzzle games that I find interesting is, you know, if you can purposely finish without necessarily um, uncovering everything or uncovering, you know, a certain track of things, it sometimes has an interesting influence on gameplay. Um, but I don't know if this game needed to do that. I think the whole thing was cryptic just enough to make me think that um, there's never really a clear answer. Um, just kind of the way I observe and interpret. And, um, honestly, I don't know what to make of it, of, of the ending, um, other than I'm just watching these unknown characters uh, have, have a problem at the end. Um, I kind of think that this would be an interesting uh, game to see as a short story or even a novella. Um, I feel like there's so much more that can come out of it from that and I, th I think that's one thing also I like about the game is um, the fact that it's so cryptic um, I feel like it, there is more that could be explored about it and the writing is certainly um, it would be interesting to see where else can, or what else can come out of it but um, I don't know we'll see um, it's always a surprise to see what comes out of these games so anyway good job um i guess i'll quit the video here if you have any questions just ask all right thanks thanks for a fun game